hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute little converse keychain so what you'll need is you'll need two kinds of yarn one for the body one for the sole and then i used a crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters and you'll need a pair of scissors to cut off the yarn and uh, i just used the normal color uh, the normal yarn i mean and that's what you're gonna need so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the sole and uh we're using the white color so we're going to start with our chain eight so chain one two three four five six seven and eight and then starting from the second chain from the hook we are going to do two single crochet in the same chain okay so two single crochets and then we are going to do single crochet in the next five uh, chains so one two three four and five okay and then after that in the last chain we are going to do three single crochets so we do single crochet one again in the same chain we do another single crochet and also one last single crochet okay so now we're going to work on this other side like this and we are going to do a single crochet in the next five stitches so we do single crochet one in the next chain two then in the next one three four and five Okay, and then we have one chain remaining over here so we are going to do two single crochet in the same chain so two single crochets okay so now in our row two I'm going to place my marker over here okay and I'm going to start by increasing in the first two stitches Okay, so we'll do two single crochet in the next chain and two single crochet also in the next chain then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five and then we'll increase in the next three stitches so we'll increase in the next stitch so increase means two single crochet in the same stitch and then increase in the next one and increase also in the next stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five okay and then after that we have uh, we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then in the last stitch here we'll slip stitch okay so now in our third row we are going to work in the back loops only and we'll do single crochet all the way round so we'll have a total of 22 stitches 
So going into the back loop, we'll do single crochet and we'll continue doing single crochets in the back loop of all the other stitches. Okay, and continue like that all the way round. Okay, so single crochet in the back loop. Okay, and then now in our fourth row, we are going to do single crochet all the way round. Okay, so in both loops, we'll continue and do single crochet. Single crochet. Okay. and continue doing single crochets all the way around for a total of 22 stitches okay so after you reach here at the end we are going to slip stitch and then cut off the yarn okay and then we're going to weave here at the end like that Okay, so now we are going to start making uh, the front part, which is this one over here, the tiptoe part. Okay, so we'll continue with the same white color. And uh, to make the front part, we are going to find the center stitch. So for me, it's this one. And to the right, I'll count one, two, two stitches. And then I'll attach my yarn over here. and then do a chain one okay and then from there we'll make a four single crochet here going to the left okay so starting from where i did a chain one i do single crochet one two three and four four single crochets okay and then after that i'll turn my work and then i'll skip the first stitch and do single crochet in the next three stitches so one two three and then here on the side i'll add uh, two more single crochets so I'll go here and do another single crochet and add one more. Okay, and then turn again. And then I'll skip two stitches. So I'll skip one, two, and go here and do three single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, and then I'll add two more single crochets. Okay, so I'll go over here, do single crochet, and another single crochet. Okay, and then I'll turn again the last time and skip, uh, skip two stitches, and then do three single crochets. So one, two, three, then add two more single crochets here on the side. So one, two. Okay, so when I get to the end, I'll turn and then I'll skip one, two. Two stitches and do single crochet in the remaining three stitches so single crochet one two three 
two, three, and then add two more uh, single crochet in the next two stitches on the side. So one, two, single crochet. Then I'll slip stitch and cut off my yarn. Like that. Okay, so that's the front part. Okay, so now we are going to make the little tank. The tank is this place over here. Okay, so I'm going to go here at the very end and attach my yarn. Okay, so make sure your shoe is facing the front like this. So we just attach the white yarn. Okay, and chain one. And then after the chain one, I'll do single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, so I do single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And then after we get to the end, we are going to turn and do another four single crochets. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we are going to do the same two more rows. So one. Two, three, and four, and then the last row. One, two, three, and four. Then I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn. Okay, and then we'll do the finishing later. So that's how it should look like so far, as you can see. Okay, so now we are going to make the main body. Okay, so for the main body, I use, uh, I'll use this green color. You can use any other color of your choice. So I'm going to go here, make sure your shoe is facing to the front like that. And then I'll come here where I left off and attach my green yarn. Like that. And do a chain one. Okay, so I'll start by slip stitching. And then I'll continue to do 13 single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, and then I'll slip stitch in the last chain over here. And then I'll do a chain one and, okay, and then after the chain one, I'll turn, then skip the first stitch, and starting from here, the other stitch, I'll do a single crochet, 12 single crochets, so one, Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and then after you do a chain 12, you're going to do a, a sorry, you're going to slip stitch here at the end. So it's a little bit tight. So slip stitch, chain one, and turn. Okay, so skip the last stitch and do 11 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then slip stitch in the last chain chain one and then the last row we are going to do 10 single crochet so skip this stitch and starting from here single crochet one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slip stitch and cut off the yarn. Okay, and this is how a little shoe looks like. As you can see, okay, so the bottom part, like this, okay, so when you do it like that, now you're going to uh, put some shoelaces, and the shoelaces is just, uh, as you can see in this other shoe, I just put a string of uh, black yarn just across the holes like this and tie here at the front. Okay, so for your kitchen, you can put it here at the back or here at the front, any place of your choice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.